Hello, I'm Tenardier, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the Port Merion village in Harlech, North Wales. OK, so here's the entrance gate. And if we look up here, there's some absolutely beautiful paintings. It's a wonderful place, Port Merion. Now, I've been coming here to Port Merion for nearly 15, no, maybe about 19 years, maybe nearly 20 years. And uh, I always, always come here every year. It's just a beautiful, beautiful village. And I was lucky enough a few years ago to have met uh, the daughter of Clough Williams Ellis. Now, Clough Williams Ellis built Port Merion, and I was very, very lucky enough to meet his daughter a few years ago, but sadly she's died now. And his daughter, Susan Williams Ellis, is the creator of the famous Port Merion pottery. And there's loads of statues. Now, I love statues. And there are loads of statues at Port Merion. Beautiful statues. Gorgeous. It's just a stunning place, absolutely gorgeous. And there's paintings and artwork and art deco and statues and you know wonderful buildings and then there's a Buddha up here which was used in the film The Prisoner. Here we are, the famous Buddha. Now we're very, very lucky to actually catch it on its own because there's usually children climbing on it and people wanting photos with it. Uh, you can see how big it is compared to my hand. It's huge. Here are the gardens. There's another statue. Then there's another statue down here, which is carved out of wood. The village has always been maintained and redecorated, and it's very well looked after. Now, this is my favourite statue, which is carved out of wood. It's the sort of statue that you'd see on one of those fairground organs, I suppose. Now this part of the village was actually in um, Bristol and it was saved by Clough Williams Ellis, this, this bit here, and uh, rebuilt here. I don't know whether the statue was part of it. But it's just a stunning, stunning village, absolutely beautiful. And really unusual as well. So that there was in Bristol and uh, it was saved by Clough Williams Ellis and rebuilt here. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, artwork when you look at it. And then there's lots of water features and you know, all sorts of things, wishing wells and fountains, all sorts.
And then in the village there's uh, souvenir shops and uh, cafes and uh, restaurants as well. And then the famous Cadwallader's ice cream as well. Here's another statue of uh, the Virgin Mary. All the lily pads. Then there's a, uh, a beach as well that you can go to from the village. And then there's the, also the famous Port Merion Hotel where my mother, father and I have uh, stayed a few times. It's very expensive but absolutely amazing. Beautiful hotel. Highly recommend it. There's the clock tower. Now of course Port Merion is miles better on a sunny day. It's absolutely beautiful on a sunny day and sadly today isn't a sunny day but at least it's quiet and there's not many people about which is great. It's wonderful, it's wonderful Port Merion if you can stay in the evenings when you're at the hotel because it's just peaceful and quiet and there's nobody about and you can just wander around the village as you like. End of part one.